Welcome to the 2019-2020 Franklin Awards Show. We are happy to celebrate the accomplishments of some pretty fabulous students while also recognizing some adult volunteers who help make the school year more pleasant. Citizenship Awards will be awarded by Harmoon Teachers. Mrs. Lindsay will honor those with perfect attendance. Mrs. Allen and Mrs. Dotson will recognize math pentathletes. Mrs. Donovan will recognize the academic team. Mrs. Smith will recognize math bowl, while Mrs. Greentree will recognize spell bowl. Mrs. Keel will recognize our student council members, and Mrs. Soderling will recognize challenge research um, participants. Mr. Ashby will recognize junior great books. Mr. Hornby will recognize the Franklin Choir. And at the end, I will honor and recognize the fifth grade students who are recipients of the Presidential Awards. Thanks for watching. Congratulations, students. Remember, once a Viking, always a Viking. I would like to take the opportunity to recognize the recipients of the Service to Our School Awards. These volunteers help make the year successful for our students and staff. Olivia Huffman, Karen Livers, Amy Summers, Ashley Hampton, Nikki Grubb, Shelly Grubb, Chrissy Burroughs, Renee Richardville, and Caitlin Jones. Thank you. Lastly, I would like to thank Free Methodist Church, First United Methodist Church, First Christian Church, and Thursday Church. These church members went above and beyond to help our students have a successful year while our building was under construction. Thank you, Pastor Swisher and First United Methodist Church. Thank you, Pastor Debbie at Thursday Church. Thank you, Pastor Bales at Free Methodist Church. You helped provide a facility that was so nice for our students to learn in. You were helpful. You didn't complain. You were patient. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We had a wonderful year in your facilities. Mrs. Barr's Citizenship Awards are going to the following students who have shown a positive attitude towards their classmates, school, and their community by choosing to do what is right. Elliot Alden, Isabella Brames, Gannon Burroughs, Brinksley Davis, Brixton Davis, Bryson Jones, Masaki Cato, Natalie Locke, Vanity Opel, and Grady Cyber. Hello, this is Ms. Huffman. I am presenting my citizenship awards to my kindergarten classroom. These students displayed a positive attitude and they always had the courage to do what was right within our classroom and within our school. These students are as follows. Dakota Arnold, Kara Catt, Camden Glass, Lucy Hampton, Hannah Joyce, Carson Colehouse, Braxton Land, Skyver Martinez, Adeline Morrison, and Jonah Strohshine. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you for upholding your civic responsibility. I would like to acknowledge the students receiving the Citizenship Award from my class. During the school year, these students showed positive attitudes towards their classmates and in the school community. They also possessed strength of character and the courage to do what is right. The winners of the Citizenship Award include Barrett Battles, William Catt, Grant Decker, Carter Hahn, Audrey Klingler, Hayden Lips, Abram Lowry, Lula Miller, Hadley Salters, and Henry Stafford. Hello, this is Mrs. Wyatt with My Classroom's Citizenship Awards. Daisy Allen, Grayson Little, Harrison Memring, Remington Might, Gabriella Moore, Avonlea Morrison, Mara Patton, Baylor Roth, Keaton Summers, and Hallie Turner. Great job, kids. 
I have several citizenship awards to give out for my classroom. To receive the citizenship award, a student needs to have leadership in the classroom, follow the classroom rules and procedures, and also encourage others to follow those rules and procedures. For Mrs. Allen's class, we have Sierra Deckard, Lyndon Hermanson, Ella Hudson, Maddox Jones, Cora Kurzan, Bren McCormick, Mason Potter, Cole Risley, and Charlotte Young. Great job, kids. Hi, I'm Mrs. Barmas, and I teach first grade at Franklin Elementary, and I'm gonna be naming the students in my class who are receiving the Citizenship Award this year. This award goes to students who are positive leaders in the classroom, and they're also respectful to both children and adults, and they're also really good role models to everyone in class. So here are my students. Heath Boger, Jackson Braun, Lydian Chanley, Harper Hanley, Madeline Miles, Colin Smith, and Colin Subri. Good job, guys. Hi, my name is Mrs. Holscher, and I teach first grade. Today, I'm going to be announcing the students in my class who will be receiving citizenship awards. These students followed all of the Franklin expectations. They were positive, respectful, and always willing to show kindness to others. The students in my class are Olivia Cummings, Marissa Cunningham, Luke Harrison, Regan Horst, Sydney Johnson, Annabelle Lockhart, Audrey Mitchell, Austin Pinkstaff, and Elias Thacker. Hi, my name is Mrs. Nawaski and I teach first grade. I'm here to share who in my class is going to be receiving the Citizenship Award. This award is going to go to kiddos who were very positive all throughout the school year, who were respectful and responsible and encouraged others to do the same. The kids in my class who are receiving this award are Brooklyn Farmer, Maya Fields, Hudson Hyden, Emerson Hess, Abigail Jenkins, Alex Fanjicki, and Emily Wilkinson. Great job, you guys. Hi hey boys and girls. Um, I just wanna start off with this video by saying that I'm so proud of each and every one of you. I feel like you've all grown so much this year. You all have wonderful spirits and wonderful personalities. And I absolutely love each and every one of you. The Citizenship Award is a award that we give to people who show respect for you know their teachers, their peers, and everyone around them. And I looked into people who earn those kindness Benjamins and positive Benjamins, not only with me, but in the lunchroom and special classes and recess and the bus. And even if you didn't win, I still want you to know that I think you're awesome. So I just chose these people because they displayed that respect for the school, respect for others, and um, a love for learning. So I'm going to give the Citizenship Awards this year to Ava Allen, Zach Kidwell, Ellery Miller, Sam Patel, Braley Sparks, Jules Thacker, and Lainey Turner. Now, you should all be really proud of yourselves, and even if I didn't say your name, you should be proud of yourself too, because I sure am. Talk to you soon. I'm Mrs. Dodson, and I would like to recognize the following students for their outstanding display of citizenship. Josie Blakely, Olivia Grogan, Tony Hernandez, Camden Hurst, Brielle Sills, Ruby Smith, and Taylor Wallace. Great job, guys. Hi, boys and girls. I just want to start off by saying thank you for working so hard on all of your schoolwork at home. I know that it's very hard to stay focused and get everything finished whenever we're at home with all of the distractions, but you guys have been doing very well with everything that I've seen thus far. Um, Today, we're going to be announcing the Citizenship Awards from our classroom. The Citizenship Award is for students who are um, always positive, always showing respect around the school or in their community, and they are always doing what's right. So from our class, I've chosen Braylon Burroughs, Maggie Doyle, Mallory Fisher, Bria Junkin, Emma Moore, Kai Maranaka, and Brody Roach. I want to say congratulations to these seven students 
but I also want to say to the rest of my class that I enjoyed having you all very much this year and you have made my first year a very amazing and memorable year. So thank you for that. The Citizenship Award winners for Mrs. Snipper's second grade class are Brinley Cat, Ryland Dunn, Maya Fleetwood, Porter Little, Skylar Memoring, Mariana Moore, and Colson Rodich. Red Leader setting on here to present some citizenship awards for students who possess strength of character and the courage to do what is right and promote citizenship with their school or community through other activities. From Mr. Buck's class, we have Riker Antlone, Blake Duke, Owen Hatcher, Kinley Luking, Vera Mattingly, Willow McKibben, Mason Nork, and Jacob Warmoth. Great job, students. Students earning a citizenship award from Mrs. Sauterling's class are Jude Bickle, Alina Hermanson, Marley Engel, Caitlin Johnson, Reed Kelso, Lauren Keel, Jacqueline Miller, and Callie Turner. The citizenship award winners for Mrs. Turner's class are Mila Bates, Cooper Battles, Calvin Doggett, Zoe Lasley, Roman Lowe, Avery Norick, and Callie Wanning. Citizenship awards for Mrs. Green Tree's class go to Isla Agee, Brady Allen, Jude Clark, and Olivia Lynn. Citizenship winners for Mrs. Kirkhoff's class are Maggie Boger, Emma Cunningham, Isaac Hoplin, and Bennett Kerwar. Congratulations! Hi, this is Miss Smith. Our citizenship award winners are Hallie Greentree, Meadow Morrison, Grant Richardville, and Carson Sanders. My next award uh, for my homeroom is the citizenship award. These following students met the guidelines um, laid out by Mrs. Pancake uh, to uh, be eligible for the Citizenship Award uh, and certainly appreciate all of your hard work and um, these students are Leighton Battles, Senea Brannon, Lily Cooley, and Connor Hahn. Thank you guys. The next award that I'm going to give is for Outstanding Citizenship. These students followed the guidelines and the criteria set forth from Mrs. Pancake and I really appreciate their hard work and um, them being a good role model for the fifth grade class. Those students are Aurora Jocelyn, Daniel Lowry, Jaden Thacker, and Colton Wanning. Congratulations. Hi, it's Mrs. Potter. I have several students in my class this year who get a citizenship award. That They always do what is right. They are respectful, they're honest, they're kind to everyone, and they always do the right thing. I have Cooper Collins, Ryder Duke, Bailey DuPont, Nautica Somerville, Cammie Treadway, Courtney Weiniger, and Landon Wyant. Hi Franklin Vikings, Mrs. Lindsay here to present the Perfect Attendance Award for 2019-2020. This award is one that you should really be proud of because it's pretty hard to earn. These students came to school every day, on time, ready to be their best. I'm so proud of them. So let's get started. We have Landon Bushy, Callie Burns, Braylon Burroughs, Emma Cunningham, Olivia Deckard, Grant Deckard, Bailey DuPont, Addison Fuller, Gibson Greer, Landon Hess, Caitlin Johnson, Maddox Jones, Levi Klingler, Zoe Lassley, Grant Richardville, Jason Richardville, Bryson Roberts, Easton Rodich, Carson Sanders, Colin Smith, Ruby Smith, Delaney Stafford, 
Callie Turner and Ashlyn Weirman. I am so proud of you all. What an exciting accomplishment. For kindergarten and first grade math pentathlon, I have three students who participated this year. They are Cooper Cooley from Mrs. Wyant's room, Lyndon Hermanson from Mrs. Allen's room, and Gavel Wang from Mrs. Wyant's room. Great job, kiddos. Hi, I'm Mrs. Dotson, and I'm the fourth and fifth grade math pentathlon um, coach. And I would just like to say these guys started practicing in November for a competition that we would have had in Indy um, in April. And, I, you know, it's unfortunate that we weren't able to go, but these guys still just work so hard. And I hate that we weren't able to go to that this year, but so proud of them. So Brady Allen, Jude Clark. Cooper Collins, Abigail Groneman, Isaac Hovland, Carter Johnson, Aurora Joslin, Cody Kibbe, Sam Lindsay, Madison Moore, Avi Pargin, Adeline Rodich, Jaden Thacker, and Cami Treadway. Thank you guys. Great job this year. Hello, Franklin fifth graders. Glad to see you. Hope you are all doing really well. I do miss you. Um, wish we would have had more time together. The first award that I'm going to give out today is for the academic team. We were part of the Thinking Cap Quiz Bowl in the Corn Belt region, which were several states in the Midwest with several schools participating. We came in eighth place, which is awesome. So those students that were part of the academic team are Brianna Downey, Ryder Duke, Abigail Groneman, Aurora Jocelyn, Cody Kibbe, Sam Lindsay, Maddie Mincy, Brody Phillips, Nautica Somerville, Jaden Thacker, and Colton Wanning. These kids did an awesome job. They came in early two mornings a week for about two months. So congratulations. Our math bowl participants this year were Brady Allen, Maggie Boger, Jude Clark, Olivia Deckard, Ryder Duke, Allie Greentree, Connor Hahn, Carter Johnson, Cody Kibbe, Sam Lindsay, Madison Moore, Lily Phillips, Adeline Rodich, and Colton Wanning. Spell Bowl participants this year were Jude Clark, Olivia Deckard, Allie Greentree, Carter Johnson, Madison Moore, Noah Roth, Grant Richardville, Peyton Smith-Ray, and Avery Walls. Good morning, it's award day. I am so proud of each and every one of you. I am here to announce the student council members for the 2019-2020 school year. The student council did several fundraisers and we participated in the homecoming parade. The sponsors are myself, Mrs. Kill, and Mrs. Barmas. Here are the students in order. Josie Blakely, second grade, Heath Boger, first grade, Maggie Boger, fourth grade, Landon Bushy, second grade, Braylon Burroughs, second grade, Cooper Collins, fifth grade, Lily Cooley, fifth grade, Marissa Cunningham, first grade, Jaylee Farrer, fifth grade, Maya Fields, first grade, Maya Fleetwood, second grade, Vera Mattingly, third grade, Bryn McCormick, first grade, Hadley Piper, third grade, Peyton Smith Ray, fourth grade, Joss Jossie Thacker, fourth grade, and Callie Turner, third grade. I'm so proud of each and every one of you, and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Thank you. 
Mrs. Barr and I are very proud of our Challenge Research participants. They started in November researching a topic of their choice and finished with videotaping their presentations. We want to thank our Franklin teachers for viewing and commenting on their presentations. The following students did a fantastic job on their projects. Brady Allen, Maggie Boger, Jude Clark, Olivia Deckard, Briley Fleck, Hallie Greentree, Abby Groneman, Isaac Hovland, Carter Johnson, Aurora Joslin, Cody Kibbe, Olivia Lang, Maddie Mincy, Madison Moore, Grant Richardville, Adeline Rodich, Peyton Smith Ray, Jaden Thacker, and Avery Walls. Hello, Franklin fifth graders. Um, certainly miss seeing all of you and hope you're doing well and trying to make the best out of this situation. I hope that um, you guys enjoyed uh, our time together. And even though uh, I hate that we weren't able to finish out our fifth grade year together, um, I still enjoyed and appreciate the time that we did get to spend together. Um, my first award that I'm going to hand out is Junior Great Books. These students uh, came in early, uh, twice a week. I wish that we could have done it more, but um, obviously the situation couldn't be helped. But um, these students came in early. They read difficult texts and had discussions about them and they all worked extremely hard, so I want to recognize these students. Uh, Bailey DuPont, Bryn Frederick, Carson McCormick, Lauren Story, Jaden Thacker, and Jossie Thacker. So thank you guys for your hard work. Hello. This is Mr. Hormy with a video presentation of the Franklin Elementary 2019-2020 End of the Year Choir Award. This award signifies choral achievement. The recipients of this year's award will now be read in alphabetical order. Isla Ag, Ivy Ag, Brady Allen, Kyle Beamant, Senea Brannon, Jude Clark, Olivia Deckard, Zoe Dodd, Jaylee Farrar, Miley Holly, Reese Hayden, Maggie Hill, Aurora Jocelyn, Sophia Lowry, Carson McCormick, Emma McKenzie, Madeline Mincy, Madison Moore, Meadow Morrison, Abby Pargen, Grant Richardville, Ava Seals, Reagan Smith, Peyton Smith Ray, Bailey Spangle, Lauren Story, Jocelyn Thacker, Cameron Treadway, and Avery Walls. Thank you all and congratulations. Hi Franklin Vikings. I miss seeing all of you and hope you're staying well. I want to take this time to tell you how proud I am of all the hard work you've put in this school year. I want to congratulate you also on all of your wonderful accomplishments. I know the last few weeks have been a little difficult and a little different, but we still commend you for all of your hard work. To the fifth graders, I just want to say best wishes to you. I'm thankful I got to spend some extra special time with you all this school year. I wish you nothing but the best. Um, I had a poster that used to hang in my bedroom that said, whatever the challenge, whatever the test, whatever you're striving for, give it your best. And if I were to leave you with any words of advice, it would be just that, to give everything in life your very best. I hope you all have a wonderful summer and I hope you stay safe and look forward to seeing you next school year. And now we will honor the students who have achieved the requirements to earn the President's Education Award. I will read the words of the Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos. Congratulations on your achievement as a 2020 President's Education Awards program recipient. Since 1983, this program has congratulated millions of elementary, middle, and high school graduates for their educational achievement. 
This award is a special recognition of your determination to make the most of your abilities and your potential. Recipients excel in their studies, often overcoming obstacles to their learning. I applaud you for your dedication to your lifelong learning journey. The president and I are pleased to join your family and communities to celebrate you and your success. Best wishes for a future filled with great success. Signed, Betsy DeVos, the Secretary of Education. The President of the United States, Donald Trump, has a message for these recipients as well. Congratulations to the recipients of the 2020 President's Education Award. Over the past year, the individuals who have earned this distinguished honor have exhibited exceptional work ethic and determination. Our nation will soon look to these future leaders for guidance, and I'm confident they will continue to build a stronger and more prosperous future for our great country. The First Lady joins me in applauding the educators, administrators, parents, and other community leaders who have been there every step of the way to encourage and uplift these bright young men and women. As these talented students pursue their dreams and passions, we send our best wishes for continued success. Keep up the great work, sign President Donald Trump. We will first award the silver certificate. This certificate recognizes students who show outstanding educational growth, improvement, commitment, or intellectual development in their academic subject. The recipients of this award are Leighton Battles, Senea Brannon, Jaylee Farrar, Abigail Groneman, Brandon Harper, Carson Hyden, Cody Kibbe, Sam Lindsay, Brody Phillips, Nautica Somerville, Avery Walls, Landon Wyant, and Colton York. Congratulations, students. We will now recognize those awarded with the President's Award for Educational Excellence. This recognizes academic success by grade plus high achievement on state or nationally normed reading or mathematic examinations. The recipients of this award are Lillian Cooley, Cooper Collins, Ryder Duke, Bailey DuPont, Connor Hahn, Aurora Jocelyn, Cameron Treadway, Jaden Thacker, and Colton Wanning. Congratulations, students. Your teachers and I are super proud of you. Congratulations and good luck at Clark Middle School. You're going to do great. <laughs> 